Hi, I'm Sarah with Custom Pilates and Yoga, and today I'm going to discuss the yoga pose, child's pose, and the Pilates exercise shell stretch. Now, it's no secret that Joseph Pilates borrowed uh, some poses from yoga when he created his Pilates regimen, and shell stretch is one of those kind of borrowed poses but it doesn't quite do everything that child's pose does. So even though these two look very similar, they don't do exactly the same thing. So let's learn how to do them both. Let's start off with child's pose. You're going to come up onto your hands and knees and then let your knees go as wide as your yoga mat. Let your big toes gently touch. Now take a moment here, draw your belly button to your spine. Rotate your pelvis so that your sits bones, these bony parts here on your bottom, are pointed to the wall behind you. And then you're gonna let yourself lower back from the hips. Now when we do this, this is a great hip opening pose, okay? And then you're going to lower down. So we've got hip opening, we've got our arms reaching, so we're getting a good stretch through the shoulders. We've got a nice long spine, so a good stretch through the spine too. Plus, if there's any sort of low back tension or tightness, this can really help. Now, I've got my forehead on the mat and my arms are active. So right now my palms are down on the mat, but I could just as easily raise up onto my fingertips to get an even deeper stretch for my shoulders and upper back. Now, also another option, is to bring your arms by your sides and let yourself just relax. Now, in this pose, I can get my forehead down to the mat, but I can remember back when I was tighter and I couldn't do that, and so I'd have a yoga block. So what it would look like is I'd get myself set up, I'd have my yoga block, I'd lower back, and then I'd rest my forehead on my yoga block. And that helped me get this openness through my upper back, openness through my hips to be able to lower down further. Okay, so if your forehead doesn't quite touch the mat, it's okay, don't worry. Just grab something that you can connect to. And when you connect forehead to something, then you can really feel that rotation happen at your sits bones and that'll help you uh, get the stretch you need. Now, for shell stretch, we're gonna set up differently. Ideally, your knees come in side by side and your thighs are touching. And if you have a bit of belly or if this is really uncomfortable for you, take your feet um, and your legs just a little bit further apart, but not real wide and not with much turnout. And then you're going to lower forward, rounding over your legs, reaching your forehead down toward the mat. Now I've got my arms out, and again, I can raise up on fingertips. So this is an active version of shell stretch. But if I wanted to do a recovery pose, I could also just let my arms come by my sides. And when I uh, do that, then I let my head really reach down toward the mat let my upper body sort of melt. And when I do that, my hips lift a little bit further away from my heels, but that's okay. And when you're ready to come out, hands come up under the shoulders, and then I like to go belly button to the spine, tilt the pelvis, roll on up one vertebrae at a time. I hope that you have enjoyed this video on how to do child's pose and shell stretch and the differences between the two. Just to remind you, child's pose is a good hip opener. It can stretch your low back. It can stretch tight shoulders and tight upper back. Shell stretch is really good for when you're wanting to let your spine round and stretch your back that way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more on this and other yoga and Pilates poses and exercises, please visit my website, www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.